Let's face it, there is no shortage of health trends out there. Oh, for sure. But what happens to your body when you cut something out and then try to reintroduce it? 13 on your side, Shanna Grove verifies if you can develop an intolerance after going vegetarian or gluten and lactose free. Hey Val, for restaurants, catering to customers with dietary restrictions can be a challenge, but so can coming back from those cuts as someone trying to make healthier decisions. For answers, we went to Mercy Health registered dietitian Sarah Nikapur and also heard from those directly impacted. I actually just stopped eating gluten about three weeks ago. Becoming accustomed to searching for options. My husband and I were out for dinner the other night and I was just glancing at the menu thinking, oh my gosh, like I'm not going to be able to eat anything here. Leah Nolan is always relieved to see a particular pair of letters on the menu. And then I noticed the GF next to almost all of the menu items. Like Nolan, you've probably noticed GFs, Vs or VGs when you go out to eat. All the menus are marked, whether it's vegan, vegetarian or gluten free. Something Essence Restaurant Group embraces in all of its restaurants. If we're not relevant in those trends, then we're not relevant. I always say if you're not innovating, you're being innovated. Innovating it is with a new veggie night at the Greenwell. We'll have four or five items every Thursday that will be 100% vegetarian. Essence is even looking to design new dishes. Something that we considered at Bistro because we make all of our pasta in house now about working with Chef Jeremy, our executive chef, to create a a gluten free pasta, which we'll probably do. Mercy Health registered dietitian Sarah Nikapur sees more people making the move to plant based diets. A lot of people are more health conscious than thinking about, you know, um, sustainable agriculture and using more plant based products. Can you develop an intolerance after going vegetarian or gluten and lactose free? I think it could just because usually things that you can tolerate are things that you were introduced to when you were a small child. So if you're not introduced to that frequently, um, I think it could develop an intolerance later on. A well-rounded diet is key. I personally don't recommend that you cut out gluten or dairy for any reason unless you have an intolerance to them. And if you cut out milk and dairy, then you're not getting the calcium and vitamin D and things that you need there. If you cut out gluten, then you're not getting wheat and wheat products, which are very healthy and provide fiber and energy for your diet. That's not stopping Nolan, who says the pros outweigh the cons. My body just feels better. It's It's been pretty phenomenal in such a short time. What a big difference it has made. And again, we can verify switching back to certain foods after eliminating them from your diet could cause gastrointestinal issues. We have more details on that on our website at 13onyourside.com. And as we mentioned in the story, the Greenwell is kicking off its new veggie night tonight. Every Thursday, there will be a rotating, rotating veggie-focused menu from 5 until 11 p.m. Val.